गुड आफ्टरनून क्लास वेलकम टू अवर कॉलेज शरद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी पॉलिटेक्निक एड्रा डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी ऑन टूडेज स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिकल नंबर सिक्स ऑन कोर्स दैट इज सब्जेक्ट डेटा स्ट्रक्चर यूजिंग सी यर मार्क्स अलोकेशन फॉर यूर थियरी एंड प्रैक्टिकल पार्ट सॉरी थियरी एंड प्रैक्टिकल पार्ट ऑफ यूर कोर्स डेटा स्ट्रक्चर यूजिंग सी यर विजन मिशन स्टेटमेंट ऑफ आवर डिपार्टमेंट department vision statement is that to excel in information technology engineering education to produce professionally competent engineers with lifelong learning attitude for the accomplishment of ever growing needs of society and industry department mission statement in there to provide quality education through effective teaching learning methodologies with similarity environment for preparing technical and professional competent engineers engineering second to build up professional skills in students that will help them to succeed and progress in their personal and professional career third to embed professional ethics and social responsibilities in students for society and environment syllabus for their their five units are there and their marks allocation course outcomes after the completion of practical number 6 which co we achieve second co that is apply different searching and sorting techniques here practical course outcome matrix in that on today's practical which which practicals we are uh, sorry on today's practical we learn the practical number 6 program to sort and array using insertion sort this this is mapping with second co that is apply different searching and sorting techniques here content page in their 12 practicals are there on today's practical session we learn practical number 6 okay this is your lab manual i hope all are downloaded it these are the practical significances after that what is the word aim on today's on that practically is implement a c program to sort and array using insertion sort method okay in a lecture part practical uh, lecture number 14 in that theory part theory lecture, theory concepts insertion sort will be solved and also in on that lecture we demonstrate the program and also how to solve that program using diagrammatically so refer on, on that pr practicals when we solve that examples and program okay once again repeated on that today's practical session i am again how to that run the program i am showing that in also practical number 50 sorry in also lecture number 15 all three all three programs bubble sort insertion sort and selection sort that are showing it using turbo c++ again on that practical session i am also showing using turbo c++ okay repeated three times so you are clear over that points these are the important programs are also asking you know external exam and also in you know, a board theory exams also so not ignore this refer practical re, sorry re, uh, refer lecture number 14 15 also on that today's practical session these are the theory part what is the theory part what is my insertion sort the different from insertion sort as compared to bubble sort and insertion sorry selection sort what is the difference insertion sort is the simplest data sorting algorithm which sorts the array elements by shifting elements one by one and inserting each elements into its proper position consider we sort the playing cards in our hands this this type of execution is it means what in a bubble sort what is the concept in short i am saying that in a bubble sort what is the concept is showing on that bubble sort we find out the num biggest number of that array and that is placed in a proper position in a selection sort what is the concept is that on that selection sort we found the smallest number and that are placed in a first first position true okay means in a selection sort we found the smallest number in a bubble sort we found the biggest number but in an insertion sort what is the concept is that in that check the first position is compared with the 
जीरोथ एलिमेंट इन द एरे सो इन स्टार्टिंग विथ जीरोथ एलिमेंट दिट इज द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इज कम्पेयर विथ जीरोथ एलिमेंट इन दैट स्मॉलर दैन दैट फर्स्ट एलिमेंट देन एटोमेटिकली प्लेस्ड ऑन दैट प्रॉपर पोजिशन एंड दैट पोजिशन इज मूव टू द राइट सो इन दैट सेड एज द वॉट इज द इंसर्शन शॉर्ट द इंसर्शन शॉर्ट इज विच द एरे एलिमेंट्स बाय शिफ्टिंग एलिमेंट्स वन बाय वन ओके अगेन इन दैट सिक्स ओके नंबर आर कंपेयर विथ जीरो एलिमेंट एंड फर्स्ट एलिमेंट मीन सिक्स मीन्स इज द सेकेंड पोजिशन सो इट इज द सेकेंड पोजिशन विल बी कंपेयर विथ जीरो पोजिशन एंड फर्स्ट पोजिशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल सिक्स इज स्मॉलर दैन दैट बोथ एलिमेंट्स ओके इन दैट फाउंड इट सिक्स इज स्मॉलर दैन सेवन एंड नाइन ऑटोमेटिकली प्रॉपर पोजिशन आर प्लेस्ड एंड दीज टू नंबर्स आर शिफ्टेड बाय वन टू राइट साइड अगेन फिफ्टीन नंबर्स आर कंपेयर विथ बोथ थ्री एलिमेंट्स फिफ्टीन एलिमेंट्स आर नॉट इज स्मॉलर दैन एज कंपेयर टू दी एलिमेंट्स सो नो शिफ्टिंग आर देर नेक्स्ट सिक्सटीन इज चेकड सिक्सटीन ऑल्सो नॉट अ स्मॉलर दैन दैट ऑल नंबर्स सिक्स सेवन नाइन फिफ्टीन सो नो एनी चेंजेस फाइव नंबर्स आर फाउंड फाइव नंबर्स आर कंपेर्ड फाइव मीन्स जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फिफ्थ फिफ्थ पोजिशन इज कंपेर्ड विथ जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर ओके फाइव इज स्मॉलर दैन ऑल दैट नंबर्स ओके दैन एटोमेटिकली फाइव इज प्लेस्ड ऑन दैट प्रॉपर पोजिशन ओके फाइव विल बी प्लेस्ड इन अ प्रॉपर पोजिशन फाइव एंड ऑल आर शिफ्टेड वन प्लेस टू राइट साइड अगेन टेन एलिमेंट विल बी चेक और कंपेयर ऑल नंबर्स टेन इज प्लेस्ड इन प्रॉपर पोजिशन ऑल एंड फिफ्टीन एंड सिक्सटीन इज प्लेस्ड शिफ्टेड टू राइट साइड अगेन इलेवन इज कंपेयर विथ ऑल नंबर्स देन देर राइट प्लेस ऑटोमेटिकली प्लेस्ड इन एंड दैट प्लेसेस नंबर्स आर शिफ्टेड टू वन बाय वन टू राइट साइड दिस लाइक थ्रू दिस शॉर्टिंग इज एक्सिक्यूटेड क्लियर दैट इंसर्शन शॉर्ट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट बोथ टू शॉर्टिंग इन अ बबल शॉर्ट एंड इन सिलेक्शन शॉर्ट आर बोथ आर सिंपल ओनली फॉर फॉर्म द बिगेस्ट और स्मॉलेस्ट इन दैट इट इज ऑल्सो सेम सॉरी इट इज ऑल्सो इजी सिंपल ओनली फॉर चेकिंग फर्स्ट एलिमेंट कंपेयर टू द रिमेनिंग एलिमेंट्स ओके स्मॉल देन प्रॉपर प्लेस इज फाउंड दैट प्रॉपर प्लेस ऑटोमेटिकली शॉर्ट प्लेस इट एंड रिमेनिंग एलिमेंट्स आर शिफ्टेड टू वन बाय वन बाय टू राइट साइड दैट्स लाइक दिस कंसेप्ट इज यूज इन अ इंसर्शन शॉर्ट इन दैट अलगोर्दम एंड अलगोर्दम प्रोचार प्रोग्राम एंड आउटपुट आर राइट डाउन इन दैट इन दैट प्रोग्राम in that uh, in a lecture uh, 14 and 15 we show in that practical uh, program that are in a ascending order but your homework for you that also one another question another program is that you uh, add, sort the array in a descending order using through that insertion sort okay so in that write the algorithm flow chart for ascending order program and output okay i am mean, in a practical session given a homework that in a descending order also solve it that time to write again algorithm flow chart program and output after that complete this table result conclusion this the practical sessions are we completed it completed it in the practical sessions question is there define insertion sort after that they write the, the, these are the theory parts that are solved it again in exercise questions there examples are there that are shown to using to diagrammatically so on that when we solve these examples then re, that uh, that time refer to lecture number 14 on that lecture 14 i am showing to how to solve through diagrammatically selection uh, insertion sort insertion sort programs or examples okay in that list of students team members i'm already given to the uh, project groups okay and their title also so in that i'm formed your project members okay so in that write your project group members names okay all practicals are there up to 1 to 6 practicals on on first two six practicals completed it that all practicals are there uh, they write complete your did um, sorry complete it write your team members name Okay. Now, complete your program and output. This is 
इज अ प्रोग्राम ओके इट इज अ प्रोग्राम दीज आर दिडर फाइल्स और वेरिएबल डिक्लेरेशन आउटपुट विंडो विल बी क्लियर प्रिंट आउट मैसेज डिस्प्ले हाउ मेनी नंबर्स यू आर गोइंग टू एंटर इन ओके दिज आर स्कैन एप मीन्स इनपुटेड दैट नंबर हाउ मेनी आर विल बी विल यू एंटर आफ्टर दैट दिस मै दिस प्रिंट एप थ्रू दैट एट दैट हाउ मेनी नंबर्स यू एंटर दैट नंबर विल बी डिस्प्ले आफ्टर दैट दिस यूजिंग स्टेटमेंट थ्रू स्टोर द इनपुट नंबर्स इन अ एरे दिस इज अ एरे मीन्स इन दैट एरे मोर दैन वन एलिमेंट्स आर देर एंड स्टेटमेंट्स आर ऑल्सो देर दैट रिड्यूसेस यूजिंग ट्रू फॉर लूप ओके सर स्कैन एफ फंक्शन स्कैन एफ फॉर इनपुट फॉर इनपुट फंक्शन प्रिंट एफ फॉर आउटपुट फंक्शन देर आउटपुट फंक्शन टू पर टू पर्पज ऑफ देर वन इज द एक्चुअली आउटपुट विल बी डिस्प्ले यूजिंग प्रिंट एफ फंक्शन एंड सेकेंड वन इज द यूजर यूजर मैसेज ऑल्सो टू डिस्प्ले means user understanding purpose message will be display using printf function next is the main part coding part are there okay in a insertion sort i is equal to 1 i less than n i plus plus temporary variables are there. means array of i array of i is equal to 1 means in a array starting with zero element one means second elements are uh, temporary assigned to the temp variable again next uh, next loop in that that first elements and that zero the elements are compared not a zero uh, beginning numbers are compared with again uh, on, on that uh, um, that on that smallest numbers are found then automatically that proper proper position place it and remaining uh, numbers are shifted to right side again using this statement print of will be displayed means showing that example this is the simple but some complicated so i am explain that iterations these are your input input numbers these are the input numbers okay zeroth first positions okay is array so starting with zeroth position n is equal to 6 0 1 2 3 4 5 1 okay, 2 3 4 5 6 iteration first in that for loop Okay, this will be executed. I is equal to one. I less than n. I plus plus. I is equal to one. One less than six. Condition true. So temporary array of one that is array of one sixteen will be sto uh, assigned stored in a temporary store to the or assigned to the variable temp. After that, j is equal to one. Sorry, j is equal to i. What is the i? One. So j is equal to one. J greater than zero. J means One so one greater than zero condition true, and an operator. Okay, it is a logical operator. Logical operator means this condition and both conditions are true. Then execute the inner part. Otherwise not. Temporary which we have in a temporary which values are there sixteen. So sixteen is less than array of j minus one. J means one one minus one means array of zero means that is seventy five. Okay, both conditions are true. Sixteen is less than seventy five. Okay. so array of j is equal to array j minus 1 will be assigned to the value array of j j minus 1 means zeroth position zeroth position are assigned to the array of 1 okay 75 so values 75 75 80 10 80, 80, 80, 6 okay next iteration means for loop is executed j minus minus okay j is 1 in that j is 0 okay minus so 0 less than 0 greater than 0 condition is false so exit in a Inner for loop, okay. In that, this inner for loop is exit. So this statement will be run. What is the array of j is equal to temp? What is the temp in a temp which value value is stored? Sixteen. So sixteen is assigned to array of zero. Automatically, sixteen seventy five eighty. Okay, your input is this. Your output is this. Means automatically, is sixteen will be placed in a proper position. Clear? Next in a iteration. I value is equal to this output will be taken as a next iteration as a input. I is equal to one. Sorry, I plus plus incremented. I is equal to two. In that I is equal to one. In that I is equal to two. This iteration not this for loop is a not a exit because it condition true. Only for J is exit because this condition is false. So I is equal to two. Two less than six condition is true. So temporary again these instructions are. This uh, or statements are run repeatedly. Array of i 
2 array of 2 is 80 so assign to temp j is equal to 2 j 2 less than uh, greater than 0 condition is true 80 temp ok 2, 2 minus 1 means array of 1 ok 75 it is not less than 75 so this condition is false means exit in a that inner loop means that j for j for inner loop for uh, sorry inner for loop is exit okay because this condition is false logically and what is the purpose both conditions are true okay so array of j is equal to temp what is the temp value 80 82 assigned to the array of 2 okay this is input this is the output okay same as that because you know any changes because 80 is not a less than that two numbers next again is equal to 3 3 less than 6 condition is true not a exit in a outer for loop because is uh, condition is true again temp i is equal to sorry array i array of 3 what is the three val third value 10 okay, so i am picking 10 j is equal to 3 3 greater than 0 condition is true again 10 less than array of 3 minus 1 means 2 what is the 2 80 okay condition true it is also condition true so j minus 1 means j value is 3 3 minus 1 2 so array of 2 what is the array of 2 80 80 assigned to the array of 3 in that also assigned to the array of 3 3 is 80 so 16 75 80 80 okay again j minus minus 3 2 2 greater than 0 condition is true again 2 minus 1 array of 1 is also condition true 10 is less than 75 condition true so again j minus 1 means j is 2 2 minus 1 means 1 array of 1 what is the array of 1 0 1 ok 75 75 is assigned to the array of 2 means in a in this place so 16 75 75 80 this like again array, j is minus 1 ok condition is 2 up to so a1 is greater than 0 condition true 10 1 by 1 minus 1 array of 0 array of 0 which is 60 60 sorry so condition is true again j minus 1 means 1 minus 1 array of 0 what is the array of 0 what is the array of 0 16 so 16 assigned to the array of 1 the array of 1 hear that it is the 16 is assigned to the array of 1 again j is equal to 0 0 greater than 0 condition is false ok so exit in inner part then temporary what is the temporary value 10 ok 10 is assigned to the array of 0 then 10 ok then automatically that 10 is in place in a proper position then continue to the iteration or passes by 5 this is the iteration which iteration 3 4 5 ok because n n minus 1 means 5 passes are possible ok output how many numbers you are going to the entry in a array 6 numbers are there and their output will be displayed in a ascending order and homework for you that is you know descending order means what only for one symbol what is the that less than greater than sign is only for change rate ok how will be possible that are thinking for you These are the table completed it. Okay, practical session related practical related questions. Five questions are in a manual that homework for it. Theory questions are there, so solve it. After that, three more questions are there that are I'm adding to you. Complexity after that the advantage and disadvantage are write down. And again, one extra question is that implement a C program to sort the array in a descending order using insertion sort. Extra questions are there, three questions are there that are solve it. Okay. And that also. And now these are the theory questions I solve it. Now so these are the examples I refer to the lecture number 14. And also in a practical number uh, lecture number 15 also show to using Turbo C how to run this program. Again I am showing it. These are okay. For example, I am given to five numbers. These are in you know, ascending order. Okay. Then we 
header files okay i am also i am explain this coding in a ppt okay this is a ascending order i am to try to in a descending then one symbol is there it is a less than symbol is change it again so run that program compile it shortcut key is alt f9 your laptop is there then function alt f9 and uh, run control f9 uh, laptop is there then function control f9 okay sorry then in a descending order clear that only for this symbol is change okay right this is your program your files function variable declaration print tab scan these are the input inputted the arrays okay then the condition is to using to sort that numbers and display that numbers okay summary by sorry it is a practical related questions exercise after that it results output of this practical attached here pro attached after the program write down conclusion what is the conclusion by this practical i am able to done program to sort an array in a ascending and descending order using insertion sort summary by this practical session to complete practical number 6 homework prepare your practical number 6 in a notebook write your algorithm flowchart program output of two programs which ascending and descending after that complete this points also okay after that here stop on today's practical session in this practical session any doubts are arise then contact with me thank you